Right, so this guy went from zero to 10K a month with an AI SEO site. I'm not go over each one of these ones, but essentially he took a website in the nightlife niche. He essentially, uh, the site drives traffic to a nightclub that has sets up different events and they have an agreement where they pay him a commission for X many people that go into a certain party, right? That's how he makes the money. Uh, I'll go over all this in just a second here, but essentially what he did is he leveraged AI to both generate and automatically publish content to that site. And as you can see here, the growth is insane, right? He started around here, October, right? And you can see this scale at which the, this is a, a traf, uh, graph for the organic traffic. So it's 2,370 people a month accessing the site. The number of keywords right, that he ran, the site ranks for went from about 1,000 to almost 6,000. 6,000, right? Uh, not all these are, are buyer intent keywords. And what I mean by buyer intent keywords is essentially, and I give this example often, uh, let's say you have, for example, an iPhone repair shop. People come to your shop to repair their iPhone. Now, ideally, you want to rank on Google for buyer intent keywords. These are um, how much does it cost to repair an iPhone or where to repair an iPhone, right? And not keywords that are not buyer intent, which are how can I repair an iPhone? Because someone searching for how can I repair an iPhone, most likely they want to do it themselves. How do I do it? How do I do it at home? I want to do it myself. We don't want these people. We want the people searching for how much, where, right? Because these people are ready to buy, ready to go to your store. So it's not really about the number of keywords so much, but the number of buyer intent keywords, right? Because you can have a billion traffic to your site every single month, but if it's not buyer intent, right, if the people are not buying, it's quite pointless. So do take these figures with a grain of, grain of salt, sorry, because it is important to, to note that at the end of the day, what matters is the money, not the traffic, right? At the end of the day, it matters how many people out of this traffic you can convert into paid customers. And that is achieved by aligning in these two figures, making sure that the keywords in which the site is ranking for thus getting this traffic are buyer intent keywords. And I think the iPhone repair shop example is a pretty good one, right? This is a traffic, uh, excuse me, a graphic from Google Search Console, it's a screenshot, right? And again, it started around here and the, the growth is clear, right? For, for impressions and for clicks, again, do take these with a grain of salt because you could be getting a billion impressions here, but again, if these are not converting, it is quite pointless. Now, what software did he use? It was Journalist AI. And this essentially is a software that allows you to, again, generate and automatically publish content to your site. And before I show you how to do that, I want to show you how the articles look like because I think it's important that I show you what the actual outputs of the uh, of the content is, right? So let me go here. Uh, and so let me show you a couple of articles I generated using this tool because I think it's important that I can show you before I tell you how you can do this. So these are articles for the gardening niche, right? These are all AI generated, by the way, all the images. We have an interactive table of contents. We have, um, let me just close this right here. A section with the intro, key takeaways, uh, in-article videos, in-article links, right? Internal and external links, in-article images, right? More images here, more images. Sometimes you have tables. This is an FAQ section right here. And this is a call to action to this site where actually this is a Shopify store where you can buy these uh, gardening supplies, right? Uh, again, this was all done with AI. And from top to bottom, from the uh, in-article videos that are relevant to what the article is about, as well as the images, to the links linking out to other pages on our site, maybe linking out to external sources, this is all done with AI. And we can just click here to publish to our site, one by one, publish, publish, or just go here and click publish all to integration, and all three will be posted for integration. Again, our integration can be anything we'd like. In this case, it was a WordPress site, but it could be a Shopify store, a ghost website, Wix, Webflow, Logger, or even Zapier, or even use an external API if you'd like. And again, it was using this software and setting up an auto blog, which is this right here. Essentially what you can do with an auto blog is produce however many articles you want, 300 articles every single month, weekday, or every 12 or six hours. And this is exactly what he did but for the nightlife niche, right? And these are the results he achieved. Leveraging these AI tools, in this case, Journalist AI, which I'll leave a link for this in the description. It's called, the website is called tryjournalist.com and producing content, right? Just by going here to generate articles and there's all these simple modes, simple mode, titles mode, keywords mode, but I use the advanced mode. 
in which you have more control over the, the output. You can even connect your brand to produce uh, brand-tailored content with your brand's images, your brand's tone of voice, essentially non-generic AI content. You can change the language over 150 different languages. So if you're targeting the international markets, you can use this, use this as well. You can change levels of creativity, tone of voice, a point of view. You can add your, your call to action, so a link. Right? There's your article. Again, it has the featured image, has a table of contents, in-article images, in-article videos, internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site, or your homepage, your contacts page, your other blog posts, external links, so linking out to other external sources. If this is an article about finance, for example, we'll link out to Wikipedia, Investopedia, right? TechCrunch, all these uh, publications, bullets, tables, uh, quotes, and down here, like I said, the call call to action section linking out to your product or service um, in a way that makes sense, of course, contextual. You can enable and disable all these sections, key take inclusion, FAQs, automated headings. You can select the length of the article. This is where you set up your internal linking, just adding your sitemap URL, external linking, just enabling this, and we'll scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and add the links to your article. Images, you can select license free photos, AI images, stock images, your own custom images and a bunch more right here. And then just go here, select how many articles you want, click generate, and you generate the articles. You could post them manually, like I said, or if you want to automate the whole process, just go here to Autoblog, create one, and that's that. So essentially, what Journal ACI is doing is it is connecting with your site, and it is doing the generation plus the publishing of the content. Let's say this is your website right here. It is posting every single day, week, or hour to your site, all these individual blog posts. Also, Journal say also does keyword research and also indexes the content for you. To index, just click here, set it up here, it's pretty straightforward, click indexers, connect your indexer, and here it does the keyword research for you, right? If you go here, click one of these, uh, let's do this one. It takes in your site, your URL, your country, your language, as well as your competitors, and gives you a bunch of keywords with low SEO difficulty, right? But some decent search volume. You can just select the ones you want and produce content around them. So pretty cool. And it was exactly with this software that he achieved uh, these results. So again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.